Hello, everybody. Wow, I just peaked the mic a second I talked. Good, good job, me. I'm loud. It seems I'm loud. Oh, I've got one fly buzzing around my head. Right now, he's sitting on my uh, primary monitor. I need to get one of those electric fly swatters. We used to have one, and I think it just... Some of the wires broke and it stopped working. Those things are nice and quick. They smell awful. They're coarse and they get out. Wait, I got off track. Hi, it's Tuesday. It's Resident Evil 4 day. We're getting close to the end. But wow, this I remember the island dragging a little. I didn't remember quite how long it was. And it is the worst part of the game. It is the part of the game that people do not remember. Obviously. Because who would want to remember this? The castle and the village are both very entertaining in their own right. While the island is... Oh, how do I put this nicely? Hit or miss. It's very hit or miss. Uh, let's get flawless widescreen going. We've got Windows borderless going. All right, let's get started. How's everyone doing? So if I suddenly do something like this, that's probably because I just tried to swat a fly. Xenon Fox is Fox. That's good to hear. If you were not Fox, I might worry. Alright, let's climb up this ladder. And let's see where we're going. Oh no, we're on an island. Fuck. Got uh, at least a couple more boss battles too. I think this is the real shit part. Like, the Krauser fight, I think, is not the Krauser fight we did, which is one of the worst parts in any game. But the uh, the actual fight with Krauser is not good, but it's not this part. Unless this is the fight with Krauser, which would be hilarious. Oh, uh, this is actually the fight with Krauser. Shit. Never mind. This is the fight with Krauser, everyone. I don't remember how to do this fight, so it might take us a few tries. Um, I also don't have a lot of first aid. At least we don't lose half our money when we die. That was a standard thing for a long so, time. You two are all hooked up now, is that it? Where's Ashley? Do you really want to know? She's beyond that gate. But you'll Did need he just insignia draw well. red stripes over all what of his scars and then give up halfway through? In the north? Holy the shit, he did. East. And let me guess. You got the last one. <laughs> it pretty much That's amazing. I never noticed that leash. before. And don't worry, none of this dialogue Sounds means like anything. This pretty well. I don't need to dodge. Oh, come on. You don't... I was in full cover. That is crap. Oh, I am not happy about that. There's a timer on this lock. Oh, right. I forgot. He can literally just leap over the scenery to get to you. 
So yeah, this fight's not good. Now imagine if the camera was zoomed all the way in so you couldn't see anything behind you. And that's the original experience. I sincerely hope most people agree with me that Krauser is one of the worst characters in the series. Because fuck this guy. Oh. oh, okay. So before he shot through it, this time he knocked it down. God damn it. Oh, come on. It gives me a fucking QTE. That changes the camera view. Kinda looks like you've got a fisheye lens. Is that your FOV mod? Yes. Because otherwise, more than like... Half of the screen is just obscured by Leon. Here, let me show you. Um, uh, it's not updating to have lower FOV for some reason. That's weird. Maybe it's the spot I'm standing in? No, uh, my turning down the FOV is actually not doing anything. That's odd. In any case, normally it doesn't look like this. Also, my mouse cursor has just disappeared and is no longer working. On either monitor. There we go. Yeah, for some reason, I'm going to have to turn... I'm going to... Okay, there we go. I turned off flawless widescreen. That's what it normally looks like, except to, to go even further... Normally, that's in 4x3 aspect ratio. So let's turn flawless widescreen back on. Hey there, Christy. Don't be sorry you're here. I like having you here. We're all friends. All right, fuck Krauser. Oh, fuck off. Got you up guard, didn't I? Oh, that time it doesn't even give me the QTE. It just has him stab me automatically. Oh, and it switched the buttons on me. Yeah, I was going to cook, and then I didn't have the energy to cook, so I didn't cook. Yeah, yeah, he's... It's kind of a hurt me, snake, hurt me more moment. If you're familiar with Metal Gear Solid 1. Alright, so the shotgun doesn't really work all that well here. This fight in general is a little wonky. A lot of it we're going to take via the uh, sniper rifle. I 
I was going to hop up here. I think there was something you could do with the knife. Like, it did more damage to him than, like, anything else or something ridiculous like that. Wow, his aim is real bad. Oh, come on. Yeah, that was it. You gotta lure him to you and then hit him with the knife. Okay. I kind of remember now. Is this open now? Yeah, it's not actually a timer either. So the game lies to you. Get off. Oh, come on! Ah! Uh, Alright, so it's a lot of that. I guess you're supposed to realize that you're supposed to use the knife because he's using a knife. Ah, uh, wrong button. Okay, that time I definitely hit it on time. So I'm blaming the frame rate thing on that. Yeah, this is actually kind of worse than I remember, which is kind of wild. Jesus. At least, and this I didn't remember. At least it doesn't, um... There we go. Oh, come on. Oh, why was there a third one? Ugh. Also, his knife strike is much faster. And done in a way that kind of makes sense. He's not holding it exactly in an effective way. But the way he's holding it, he could at least hurt someone intentionally. Okay. They just decided to start him in a different place this time. I'm glad. Okay, you can see his shadow when he is here. Oh good, that time it decided that that was enough. It won't open. Pieces are missing. So now I have to collect shit. <laughs> While also fighting him. A lot of running around in circles here. Okay. I think I found him. It's like they wanted to make a fight that depended on the mechanics of the game, but didn't really understand how to do that effectively. What do you intend to do restoring Umbrella? To bring order and balance to this insane world of ours. Wow, it's almost like you're pretending to have a backstory. 
You don't seriously think a conservative mind can chart a new course for the world, do you? So Capcom, where's that Krauser game? back here good That's what I and yes he does have eye frames half the time during all of his animations did he just try to stab you from upstairs and fail because you <laughs> I didn't catch that but it wouldn't surprise me. Alright, he's not around the... Bloody hell. Neon takes so much time readying his knife. I guess I have to have it readied as he's running at me, otherwise it's just not gonna work. Oh, the QTE that I fired my shotgun during was... I was looking at chat there, so I died again. The QTE there was from him throwing a grenade. So no, it wasn't quite that silly. Oh, fuck off. How come he can shoot at me for like eight seconds straight without hitting me? But then it comes to this part. And he just instantly gets me. You better not shoot me through this thing. I'm gonna be pissed. Alright, good. He just knocked it down. Yeah, as long as you have the knife ready, this isn't so bad. So now I've got that down, at least. Red weed must be wild, right? Oh, hey, there's more green weed. You know, bog standard green weed. All right, seen it. Oh, we're talking. Fuck! Oh, come on, I had enough health to survive an attack if it hadn't gone into the instant kill QT. Oh, this game sucks. <laughs> oh, all the way back here again. All right, just got to keep swinging. All right, now we hope he doesn't break through the pillar until after he's done shooting. The fact that he's essentially bulletproof just feel so wrong compared to the rest of the game. The fact that these are one-hit QTEs as a final boss fight is... This isn't a final boss fight. <laughs> oh no. There's much more game after this. He's not even wearing his shirt. Yeah, Krauser's not the final boss. This game keeps going way longer than it should.
He just got himself with his own grenade. All right, we got the first piece of the, the fucking puzzle box. Just like Mickey Mouse, both with not wearing a shirt and going on for longer than it should. Oh my god. This fucking game. Yeah, that's where I need to get it to. And I think Krauser still attacks me during this. I hope I'm mistaken. But I think he can still jump in and start trying to knife me. Yeah, I actually didn't remember this fight being as bad as it is, but this is just... If not for the checkpoints, I think I'd call this maybe the worst boss fight in a Resident Evil right now. But may that may just be because it's the one I'm doing right now. Alright, then there's robots with dynamite for some reason. I forgot about these guys too. Like, it's not even, like, modern explosives. That's just straight-up dynamite. Seems like weird design for a Spanish castle. We are still... We're in an island off the coast of Spain. I don't... The, the ruins are more South American. Which seems like someone might have been geographically confused. Yes, I see you there. Well, people speak Spanish in some parts of South America, so it's the same thing, right? What? The one I already blew up blew up again behind me. That was weird. That was weirder than usual. What is it that you fight for, comrade? My past, I suppose. <laughs> Press E to respond. Well, I had time to react to that. I just didn't have the wherewithal. Remember, when the player spawns in, they should be safe. Ha ha ha! See what I did there? I insulted the level design. I'm very clever, I know. We've gotten lots of mileage out of that, uh, the Miyamoto rule of level design here on Squirrel Lily. It is not the only correct way to, um... It is not the only correct way to create levels. I want to make that clear. But it does make for a good joke. Two down, one more to go, Krauser. <laughs> we'll see about that. Wait, when did he lose his hat? I mean, I know he lost it every time I uh, was asked whether I wanted to continue or not. But I thought that was non-canon. Because it was supposed to be behind a You Died screen that sometimes doesn't show up. Witness the power! Oh, by the way, he's a tyrant. Completely, Krauser. Prepare for your death, Leon. Okay. Apparently, I didn't dodge that. And I was that time that I was actually jamming the wrong key there. I was jamming C instead of X. 
So that one's on me, at least the second part. Okay, I think I know why you survived being stabbed in the naked chest like six times. Yep. So at least that makes sense in the context of the series. Which a lot of things in this game do not make sense in the context of the series, so we'll give them this one. Like Krauser being here, that doesn't make sense in the context of the series. Prepare for your death, Leon. There we go. Oh, God damn it. Okay. I don't remember how to do this part of the fight. Maybe it'll come back to me. Hey, look, the You Are Dead screen actually appeared this time. That's a nice touch. All right, I think I need a stronger weapon than the handgun. That'll help. I also think that the, um, what's it called? I also think the knife rule still applies here, but it's much harder to pull off. We'll see about that. Prepare for your death, Leon. Okay. Uh, they give you like an eighth of a second to do those. I think I've seen Halloween candy hearts with stuff like that written on them, Bad Road. Yes, yes, skip, skip, skip. For your death, Can I skip this, please? Okay. Okay. I swear to God, I'm getting these QTEs on time. But I'm missing every single one. Means I have to do it quicker. Prepare for your death, Leon. Okay, no QTE that time. It's been a QTE literally every other time that the fight has started. But that time it just didn't do it because I didn't ready my gun, I guess. if you can play Krauser in the mercenaries mode or not. Prepare for your I know you have to fight him in Ada and that's a much easier fight. Not necessarily a better fight. It's still shitty. But it's easy. Mostly because Ada is a much, much more competent character than Leon. Okay. Okay, that time I absolutely pressed those as soon as they appeared. So I think the QTEs here may just not be working? So that's wild. I might be fucked. Prepare for your death, Leon. They work in this scene. There we go. Just, just let me pull up the dang menu. Huh. That made some sort of impact. As though I'd hit him. But it was not the correct impact. 
Is there a less competent character than Leon? I'm trying to think. Let's see, we've got Claire. Who is actually super competent. And a really good, like, uh, investigator. We've got Jill, who is, well, we've seen Jill. She's a fucking superhero. Uh, Chris, also, like, preternaturally powerful. Um, he doesn't have any pockets, though, so that, that bogs him down. He can only carry whatever he can hold in his hands. His four hands. Six, six hands. He has six hands. Let me think. Um, Barry is too competent. Rebecca actually became less competent as the timeline went along, which was weird. Because she's actually real good in Resident Evil Zero and then kind of shit in Resident Evil 1. I think Leon's about the worst of them. Alright, so we're just using the knife again. Running back and forth across the bridge, I think, was a valid strategy. If I wanted to use, like, the machine gun. Yeah, if he's kicking, I can't get him. Okay, fuck that. Oh my god, it interrupted the QTE for a cutscene. And then when the cutscene was over, the last half of the QTE still happened. Oh my god. Prepare for your death, Leon. There we go. Fuck, that sweep is... I don't know why I can't get that one. Yeah, this is terrible. In normal mode, you have so much health that none of this matters. Prepare for your death, Leon. Which is kind of how they got around it. Oh, wrong buttons. There we go. Did not let me swing my knife. Ah. Uh, I guess when he does the spin attack, there's not much I can do about it. But the knife does actually do like 10 times the damage of even like the rifle, which is why I'm bothering. Prepare for your death. And it's just a Krauser. Before this, there's no reason to think that the knife would be the correct weapon to use here. Oh my god. Really? Ah. 
grab him and or slash him. All right, let's just. All right, climb back up, Leon. You're good. Oh my god. I keep thinking I have enough health to survive the next hit, and I never do. I'm doing better, though. I'm at least doing better with each go. Aw, uh, we lost our rando viewer. Sorry, bud. Prepare for your death, Leon. <laughs> Alright, I remember that now. Okay, I hit him. It even made the blood splatter and the sound. Mmm, that sweep kick. I don't know why I can't get that one. That one specifically seems to be impossible. It's got to not be impossible. It's got to not just be broken. It's got to just be really fast. Prepare for your death, Leon. Ugh. Yeah. Yeah, I don't get this. I don't get that one. I think this game has some good ideas that were later implemented into the Resident Evil 2 and 3 remakes. Prepare for your death, Leon. <laughs> While certain attacks of his are going off, it just removes my ability to swing my knife, too. I don't understand what they're expecting out of me there. Like, it shows instructions on the screen, but they don't seem to work. And it's that specific attack that's getting me every time. Prepare for your death, Leon. There we go. There. Fuck that. I broke the fight. <sighs> the fight's gonna be broken. I'm gonna be the one to goddamn break it. I'm a pro fucking gamer. Y'all saw it.
It's fucked up how you have to stab him hundreds of times that he only has to stab you once, right? He's not even a good tyrant because he only comes at you twice before you kill him. Now, if I recall, the next part is the bit with the helicopters. Yep, this is this is the part that I was warning about that sucks worse than the Krauser fight. I hate this Call of Duty bullshit that they put right here. They want me to do a trench fight. Would three tyrants work trot? Would three tyrants working together be a triumvirate? I think it'd be a tyrumvirate. Killed Krauser too. Who? How shall I return my appreciation? <laughs> what are you talking about? I thought he was with you. <laughs> what are you talking about? Did you really think I'd trust an American? To tell you the truth, I was contemplating how to get rid of him. But thanks to you, that's no longer necessary. You were just using him right from the start. <laughs> oh, I must <laughs> hand it to you. You've demonstrated quite a bit of promise by killing Krauser. When your assimilation with Las Plagas is complete, I'll have you serve as my guard. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to decline your generous offer. I have prior engagements. <laughs> Enjoy your smart mouthing while you can. I can't believe I got a perfect kill on Krauser. That was, that was some speedrun shit. Now don't worry, Mox. This is how it could be worse than the Krauser fight. Yes, this is really what they did. And they were so proud of it, they made a cutscene about it. Hey, it's about time. Sorry, bad traffic. I'll cover you. Don't worry, this guy's gonna be totally okay. Sad, Randy. God, that fucking game. So, when I played Deadlight, I played Deadlight Director's Cut. And it was still like nothing. It was still like the most nothing game. So, I have no idea what the non Director's Cut version could have been like. What's, what's up, Christy? Also, hi, Riz. the part where it puts you into the level uh, does a cutscene to show that a guy is shooting at you while leaving you out in the open so he can't dodge before he starts shooting oh come on what? there okay there's no way that missed. Turned out it didn't, because I shot in the same spot again and it hit him. But, you know, video games. 
I'm a PFG. Oh no. Oh no. Get good. Get way, way good. <laughs> Don't worry, I don't need to look at this game to play it. Come on, dude. I know you're back there. People just don't want to admit that Sniper OP. Oh, whoops. Nope, nope, need my iframes. Come on, give me my... You're not even gonna give me my fucking suplex iframes. What a dick. And then his pals just shot him anyway. What, you think I don't see you? totally going to survive helicopter man Ah, uh, stop with the cut scenes see i got shot during the cut scene y'all starting to see why y'all starting to see what i don't like here y'all y'all getting this What? How many of you are there? Oh my god. Stop. Get out of here. I can't even shoot down there, so I gotta wait for them. out because now we've got few enough guys but I don't know what angle I need to be at to shoot them apparently literally facing the opposite direction it started me in is the answer where did you come from I do love when they shield their face with their hands against gunfire So in Canada, there was a kids show on, uh, I want to say the CBC, called The Big Friendly Giant, which is what Christy is making reference to. And it started out with a big friendly giant going to his tower where his friend Rusty the Rooster lived uh, over a tiny town which he was very careful not to hurt. That was obviously, it was made of models, but obviously we wanted to pretend that it was a real town. No, that's, the movie's based on a book with the same name. But he'd start out every, I guess we can't break through this. Start out every episode by saying, look up, look way, way up as the camera would pan from his feet to his face. And a lot of Canadian kids my age grew up with that. And it was, it was fun. He'd read a story to his friends who were puppets. And that was basically the whole thing. got another one really and the tank controls make it such a pain in the ass to get out of the way oh okay he shot me through the metal y'all saw it what 
good is cover if it doesn't do anything. Die like Krauser. And now there's one behind me. Suffer like G did? Yeah, Mr. Dressup was Canada's Mr. Rogers. They even used to work together. Yeah, exactly. Mr. Rogers is... Mr. Rogers is America's Mr. Dressup. Yes. All right, it, there was no save points during that. There was not a single checkpoint. It's the cutscenes that fuck me up the most because shit continues happening during them. Alright, there's our gun, but the guy doesn't actually spawn in until right then. And then he's already on it. Okay. Well, I guess I'm fucked. I just can't hit him now. Alright, whatever. Um, kill me. Also, for some reason, it just scrolled up my chat when I zoomed in. So that's good. I mean, he's a helicopter pilot, Riz. They don't last long in this universe. Honestly, he does more than pretty much every other helicopter pilot in the series combined. So, you know. Fortunately, there is just like a factory that produces hunk. So I have no idea why I can't hit him this time, but I'm not happy about it. Okay. There. He was sitting lower last time than he was supposed to be. He's supposed to be just high enough to hit. Where the fuck are these arrows coming from? There he is. I'm not familiar with the Freds in Cobra. Is that a G.I. Joe thing I don't know? That's the only Cobra I know. dead. Are we done? Alright, he's too far away for this. Okay. Just throw another one in behind me then. That's it for now. No, there's another one coming. Hey, thanks, hunk.
Oh good, he destroyed the spawner. Like, for real, they were all coming out of there. That had to have been a spawner. Like, obviously, it definitely was a spawner mechanically. But it's wild that that's, like, canonical. Oh, by the way, I want to show you all something. You see, um, basically everything until it starts looking like a set of rooms again? That's what I have to get through. This is not short. Try to shoot it for some... Oh, come on. This is becoming very annoying. There we go. Coming at me? That guy just pushed his friend out of the way of my shot. Now that's a good buddy. I bet every Resident Evil mook zombie wishes they had someone like that. Just explode, please. Thank you. Variable length wicks. God, there's so much money stacked up here. Oh my God, are you serious? can't hit me as long as I stick close to the building. Probably. Though, as we've seen, that kind of obvious rule doesn't always hold true in this game. Okay, bye. I'm gonna climb back up. Because that always goes well. There's two more down there. I don't think they come from any other direction during this. But I'm not 100% sure, so I may just die. Running out of shotgun shells, too. Fortunately, I've got a bit of uh, submachine gun ammo. this game had stealth kills. I don't know if there's actually... Are you... Wow, you just... That was nothing. Oh, you're still... Oh, you just... You're not even... You're not even an enemy. Not even like a proper dude.
Oh, hi. Flash grenade. I gotta remember I have grenades. That'll make things quicker anyway. All right, we're finally done the first room. I think, let me make sure of that. No, we're still in the first room. No, we're halfway done the first room, is what's going on here. Now I need to figure out where to actually go next, because it's not made clear. There's stuff behind here. There's something I'm missing, I think, because I think the chopper is supposed to blow that up. Oh my god, really? I just had to wait? That's what you decided? All right, just let them wander for a while. While the chopper slowly circles around. All right, that's not breakable. I go out this way now? Okay, good. This opens now. Oh, it's that guy again. Oh, yep. Getting hit. We've only fought that guy once before. I assumed he was a unique character. Oh, I kicked him into the room. And halfway through the sand. Okay. Someone was shooting arrows at me. Well, there's actually no way for him off the island right now. Oh, thank God, that was actually a checkpoint. Alright, I can't shoot that guy until the cutscene causes him to abruptly spawn in. What the fuck? I don't see anyone with arrows shooting at me. There he is. No, that's... Ah, fuck. Okay, that one was on me. Well, aside from being hit randomly. Before. There is a guy with a bow somewhere here. Okay, let's try moving forward instead of backwards. really working either. I gotta get rid of the guy with the chain gun, but he takes like a million hits and there's guys spawning in. The sequence of events in this game was changed so many times during development that that doesn't really surprise me. That someone just coming into it is having a hard time following it. This game had a very tumultuous development history. Okay, fuck you, dude. That was some bullshit.
I'm mad about that one. Oh yeah, I have no use for the, uh... What's it called? The, the yellow herbs anymore. See if I can just get him with a rifle since he doesn't seem to be able to shoot me. Kind of. The collision on that wood is ridiculous, though. You're who was shooting me? Dude, I don't like you. Also, that guy is just behind the wood now. Which is like MTV's behind the music. Except wood. Seriously, stop, please. Thank you. I appreciate that. Tumultuous is a fun word, right? It's not It's not a fun experience, but it is a fun word. Another barrel. Now I gotta figure out how to get up and around there. Should be able to just go this way. All right, this is to kick him. Yes, for real. Um, but it's a pain in the ass. I remember specifically, very specifically, going to kick him and getting shot during the 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 the, the, the slide. Yellow orb raises your max HP. Alright, hopefully that was also a checkpoint. Hopefully it's checkpointing me properly now. Alright. Good. I shot him in the chest and it bounced off his helmet. Oh, but then my kick killed him, so it's okay. <laughs> the fuck even is this game sometimes? No, I see you. to aim at this. Oh, there he is. Okay. See him. See, he's supposed... They're supposed to be up above the gun like that. And that one time, he spawned too low down. I 
think that's a legitimate complaint on my part. Also, fuck this guy. That's also a legitimate complaint. So I think they're going to keep spawning here. Ah, damn it. Ah, damn it. I really hope that it, uh, checked my point. Uh, all right, good. A little weird where it did it, but at least it did it. side like that, Leon. Get out of here. Okay. Got clipped in the shoulder. All right, let's do it again. Cutscene, unskippable cutscene. Have to watch that every time, it's very important. really adds to the story and atmosphere. Later on, uh, Tomb Raider 2013 would use this exact same scene. guy yes but there's another one okay and now there's two of them was that guy invisible or was that my brain doing the thing where it doesn't see something out of here. No sidestepping in this game. Okay. Nope. Not far enough over. I'm glad he doesn't seem to be able to clip me through the crack in the wall. Oh, he's got a helmet. That sucks. I hate that he has a helmet. I 
I know this bit isn't meant as a puzzle, but it's the most puzzle-feeling part of the game so far. It feels much more like a puzzle than any of the actual puzzles they've tried to throw at me. What? When did he die? Ah! How far over is the one that's still shooting at me? Alright. Oh, he's on the fucking ground. Okay. Alright, so now I know where he is at least. Alright, let's keep this up. We're getting there. We're solving this. I'm solving the guns puzzle. Spawn too low on the thing again. Don't swing to the side, Leon. Good lord. Okay, I'm dead. I guess I can be in iframes when the explosion goes off because the guy grabbed me. That one's easy at least. That one's just a quick snapshot. Also, there's a cover system all of a sudden. Which I think has been used once before in the game. I wonder if I can use the mine darts. To get the guys in the guns simply due to their explosive radius. Holy shit, it works. Jeez, that's much e oh never mind. Hit the wall behind him then. Alright, well that hit him. Didn't kill him. That counts as easier, but it definitely counts as done. Really? That's what we're doing? Another spawner? No, no, no. Oh, 
Oh my god, fuck off. I was mashing on the fire key that whole time. Alright, so what I'm gonna have to do here is go down to ground level and try and juke around him. I just shot that guy's dynamite right out the air. Can't crouch here. Fuck off. There, those guys take way too many pistol shots to kill. At least he left me a present. And now we gotta get up and push those two buttons. Alert level helmet seems like a good idea. This one left me a present this time, too. Wild. Alright, now I just gotta avoid dying while I get to the other lever. Anything behind here? Forget. Yeah, there's a barrel. I can't get around to the other lever from here, so I'm going to have to hop down and find my way to it. that going for you, bud? Oh, you too? Thank you for being a friend. Travel down the road and back again. Your heart is true. Oh, hi. Don't like that. You can't smoke in here. How you doing? He tried to he tried to block my bullet with his hands again. I'm not sure if that actually lowers the damage they're taking like it does for Ethan. Do you think Las Plagas are made of fungus? Cuz I thought they were I thought they were animal. Or maybe they're fungal. Oh, thank God. Really? That's what you're doing? I don't appreciate your sense of humor, my friend. No, jump. Leon, jump the rail. Leon, jump the rail. There's only certain rails Leon can jump. They are not marked. Oh. I think Lost Blog is our animal. I don't think we get to the fungus until he... No, I was just making a joke on the fact that these guys were blocking bullets with their hands. So 
that's what fucking Ethan does too. Wait, weren't we just in a narrow corridor like before the cut? Now we're in a narrow corridor again. Take cover. Oh, here's some slow-mo for you. Just to remind you what year it is. <laughs> Thanks. When we get out of here, drinks are on me. Yeah, hey, I know a good bar. Hey, he survived. Oh. I guess when he signed up to be a helicopter pilot, he knew what he was getting into. I'll make sure you're the next to go, Sadler. That's another character who was never mentioned before and will never be mentioned again. Ooh, I'm sorry, Leon. Sadler, you bastard! It's nothing to get all upset about. Don't tell me you've never swatted a bothersome fly. In essence, it's the same thing. What did you say? Insects' life doesn't compare to human lives. When you've acquired this power, you too will understand. Guess it's another good reason to get the parasite out of my body. <laughs> I wish you luck. Yay, I remembered the emerald was there. I feel ripped off that only one of those guys dropped loot. There was just a bunch of them. So that's the worst section of the game, the Krauser fight plus the Call of Duty garbage level. So it's sunny from here, honestly. It's Mike's loot, oh no. Oh, I see, you're saying it was loot for Mike, not loot from Mike. I guess Mike's loot's lost because it went over the edge. All right. Um. Yeah. Yeah, we're done with the garbage section. Um, there's a treasure here. Is it down the ladder? Doesn't look like it's down the ladder. I don't see any sparkles, though. So I guess it's down the ladder. Ah, there it is. It's a pearl pendant. Didn't even have to avoid getting it dirty. The Los Plagas Plague Knot Zombies. That's that's their full name. You understand. Oh, there's Ada. You okay? She was just waiting for me to clear out the Call of Duty section. Now he's gonna choke her, warning. Yeah, I forgot about it till just then.
Hey, she finally touched his penis with her knee. Sorry, Ada. Real hard. We have to get that parasite out of your body. Yeah. But before that, I gotta save Ashley. Fine. Let's split up. Yeah, Leon got the parasite after, like, the first chapter. It's kind of been glossed over till now. Just with occasional mentions. Thank you, Christy. Oh, and Ada's gone even if you open that door, like, frames after she goes through it. You can't, you can't spot her zipping away. Which I understand, I just wanted to point it out. I thought the merchant was supposed to be here. No? No merchant? No merchant for a while, I guess. I, there's got to be at least one more in the game. If only Mike had survived, Leon would be drinking a gin and tonic because quinine is an anti-parasitic medication. Bloody hell. So basically, I don't even think, I don't even remember if I get Ashley back in the party at any point. But I can just dump all the yellow herbs onto her if she comes back. Not that it matters because she's invincible, but you know. Huh, I don't remember this. Does that do anything or is it just annoying? Oh, this must be the talking lunch bag from Silent Hills. What the hell is this thing? Not gonna check, mind you, just gonna wonder. Any, any good loot in here? How about in here? Yeah, we got loot in this prison cell. Oh yeah, we're in a prison now. By the way. Leon shot something for no reason and then asked what it was. Yep. Oh, whoops. Fuck. <laughs> oh, that was... I like that. I actually forgot there was more of these guys. Just hit the thing. There. That was a weird musical sting as I swung around. Is that actually connected to the camera looking at those bags, or was that just a coincidence? Oh fuck, I forget how this works. This is a bit where you get stuck for a while trying to remember how it works. Every time I did that musical sting, my mom made me get away from the piano. Fuck. I don't 
remember if it was that. Yeah, that's right. You go around the side and then climb up. For reasons. It doesn't work from the front. <laughs> Thank you, Slocks. Oh. Oh my god, this game. This fucking game. Oh, hi, y'all. You mind giving me a break? Thanks. I appreciate it. Fuck! Nah. Didn't see that he was getting up until it was too late. I wasn't allowed to say fuck, so I did it in Goofy's voice. Yuck! I don't think I can do that one as good as Alice. I guess we're just gonna be doing this in IR mode for a while. Just because I don't want to take the time to switch back. that guy. I don't know if that sweat going down my- no, it was the fly. What an asshole. I kept feeling it- well, it felt like a drip go down my neck over and over again, but it was a fly. I'm also glad I can shoot thrown weapons out of the air with a shotgun. It's my special talent. Oh, you motherfucker. Ant Crouch here. Crouching is only for very special waist-high walls. Oh good. I'm glad that happened. your enemies bullet sponges quickest shortcut for a higher difficulty mode all right here we go got it this time this is the run all of you over here and you're gonna get in the way by shooting at me that's it's not right ah uh, half 
a second too late. Oh, I'm out of pistol bullets. How often does that happen? Alright, I'm no longer out of pistol bullets. We're fine. to shoot him and everything. There we go. Y'all better not be coming in behind me. That would be just too fucking much. Switch back to the Magnum. Oh, ran out way too soon. There we go. That's what I needed to hear. I just like how matter-of-factly Leon walks and then he just kick. Alright, are we done with that? See, there's all these barrels placed to take guys out with, but no one's ever buy those barrels. This is such a weird room. Here we go. This is the remix. You know what time it is. Looks like everything's green. Which I guess means something to Leon. Even though this is a system he's never looked at before. Green could be bad. You know, theoretically. Perfectly reasonable to believe that green means good in a system like this. I'm just giving Leon a hard time. That guy just stole the key card, though. That seems pretty rude. Also, now there's like 50 guys. Which is wild because they appeared in places where people couldn't possibly have come in from. Yeah. <laughs> 
Bro, fuck you. From around the corner. Probably should heal. Hey, I got the emergency lock card key. Because the guy who stole it to keep from getting it just ran fuck off. Just ran straight to me. Sucked. Oof. Um, wow. Wow. Not even in between scenes, huh? Let's take a break. Alright, so... I can get my mouse cursor to reappear. Here we go. All right, here we got ways that you can help the ongoing civil rights movement happening across the country and the wider world as black Americans, people of color, fight for equal treatment under the law, in society, you know, all those things that should be simple, but for some reason, uh, white people, white supremacy, are not. So here, as far as ways for you to help, we have the Bail Fund Network to help keep protesters out of jail. We've got the Oakwood Project and the Black Trans Travel Fund to help black, trans, and non-binary people uh, with food, supplies, and travel out of dangerous situations. And we've got the Black Hills Legal Fund, which is to get back the lawsuit the Lakota Sioux ancestral land, the uh, Six Grandfathers, which was stolen by white people and then renamed as Mount Rushmore arbitrarily, and then had some white dudes' faces carved into it. Next we have, under this command, Action. Lots or a few more ways you can help. We've got petitions. There's fundraisers. Uh, at the bottom there is a correspondence course from the ACLU called Racism in Policing. Just put in your email, and they'll send you. Uh, they'll send you an email piece of the correspondence course once a week for four weeks. So you can learn about well racism in policing. Why the police are just generally a bad system that was put there specifically to cause racial violence. Alright. Let's go to break. Black lives matter. The lives of people of color matter. Indigenous lives and lands matter. Asian and Pacific Islander lives matter. And these are things we need to keep saying and keep pushing until the people at the very top not only understand and acknowledge them, but make them real protected truths all right back in a few minutes we have no stance on whether you block our ads oh hey so i guess psychonauts yeah psychonauts 2 just came out i just got an email telling me i'm not even a big fan of psychonauts but i know that's exciting for a lot of people so i hope it's good
So how's everyone holding up? You gotta be doing better than Leon, I bet. So this dang gun is the one that's for killing for killing the big boofer. Big for I guess. Which means I gotta use smaller guns for killing the the little boofers. At least Leon just took his medicine. Well, that's good. That's good. See, he's developing healthy habits. It's a long road and a lot of work to get that far. Now, you're coming around this corner, bud. I'm not dealing with your axes. I said, you're coming around this corner, bud. I'm not dealing with your axes. One thing I can say about Psychonauts is it's, uh, it has a lot of hallmarks of its era. Thank you, Bad Road. small people. Ah, motherfucker. Much better. Dude! I just went over this with your pal. No axes. No axes and no capes. Ah, fuck. So basically, I got to get around to one of the, the locks. And then there's a lot of... Fortunately, the guy who steals the key card comes straight towards me. So that's not a big deal. Gotta abuse grenades a bit more, too. Oh, he's not there this time, huh? Talked about this with people at length before, but it's honestly not the worst depiction of mental health issues. There's several ways in which it is actually good and useful, and then there's Fred Bonaparte. Ah, gotcha. 
Yeah, there's some, uh... There's some stuff. It does a better job with it than the post-Silent Hill 4 Silent Hills. Oh, hi. The only adjective left for him is bullet riddled, am I right? Am I right? If he was a Batman super villain, he'd be the Riddler. The, the bullet riddled the dur. Alright, now that guy steals the card. Now it shows people spawning in. You can't show guys spawning in. That is... That is the limit of my fucking... Suspension of disbelief right there. Just waiting for them to get to me. Did they all fall through the floor? Is this going to be that kind of game? Nah, here we go. I like that they don't jump down, like, right there. They go to the ladder. Literally the first guy to reach me is the guy who took the card. back here just real quick I'm not taking any chances they sound like they're down the hall but I know that's because I'm on stereo instead of surround I am 99% sure no one spawns in back here because that's a mistake that surely no one would make right while tightening up the graphics on level three. All right, now I've got to rush over here. So La Castilla and the village, which I forget the name, the, the Spanish word for village, um, feel like part of the same game. This doesn't. This whole island, really. But it's okay, I'm not dead technically. This whole island feels like a completely different game. And not in a good way. That was cool. The grenade blew the guy forward, which made him bump into the guy who was trying to grab me. Which apparently did just enough damage that one shot from my uh, submachine gun killed him. Dude, I can see you hiding there. Like, that's a bad hiding place. That's all I'm saying. Rethink your hiding place. Anyone know where the other lock is offhand? Because I have no fucking idea what I'm doing. Uh, 
I don't know if that's obvious just in daily life, but I have no fucking idea what I'm doing. I wonder why sometimes all the lockers open, but most of them are empty, and other times only one or two lockers open. Alright, the other one must be over this way. Who, who built this? This doesn't even look like a real building. This looks like video game assets just piled haphazardly together. Oh, down the hole. Does that count as points? Do I get points for that? 69 ammo. Here, I'm just gonna throw a flash grenade down that hole. Man, I hope I didn't hurt anyone. More yellow herb. They really think that you wasted some on Ashley? Like, it doesn't really do much good on her, even if she's not invincible, is the wild thing. Because most things kill her in one or two hits, even if she's got maxed out HP. Alright, now where the fuck is the door out of here? That's gotta be it, right? There's a green light on it. Alright. Thank God we're done that. Well, that part of it. There's them Silent Hill uh, first aid drinks. Okay. Flash grenades hurt most enemies from behind, but not if they're holding shields in front of their faces. It's a flash grenade. You know those don't actually hurt people permanently. Yeah. Even if you do feed Ashley yellow herbs, there's two extra. I actually didn't know that. I thought there was... I assumed there was just enough. That's kind of wild. So the flickering light here actually looks significantly worse in this port than it did in the original. As you can sort of see how the light is clipping into shit in certain places during some of the flashes. I am 100% certain that's a result of the port. Oh hey, speak of the devil. This is the part where we fight Ashley. You'll soon harbor an awesome power. Yet it seems you would rather choose death. I'm taking Ashley back, whether you like it or not. Ah, oh, the audacity of youth. No QE, no QTE for that? Really? Headshots, Ada. We've established this. They just had to get in a fucking panty shot there, really? Fucking hell. It's the show tie. You can't block the show tie. <laughs> The fact that Ashley is the one they continuously do panty shots and stuff do is really not funny. 
she's what, 16? Cut that shit out, Capcom. This is this is a good outfit though. I'm glad she got her protective armor back. I guess I'm gonna give her um oh you have to use up the green herbs. I forgot you can't just give the, the yellow herbs straight up to someone. Here, have some extra HP for reasons. I have problems with the characterization of Ashley and not for the problems most people do. Welcome. Got a selection of good things. What are you selling? All right. We finally found the merchant. Um, we can sell these emeralds. Old strength. <laughs> Thank you. We can sell the pearl pendant. It's in pretty good condition. Looks valuable. <laughs> Thank you. What are you buying? Uh, we're capped out on everything, so there's nothing to buy. I could buy a first aid spray. And I'm gonna. Because you should always have extras. Should have been buying one at every merchant, if I'm being honest. Oh, I can, uh, finish the, uh, the TMP. Increasing firepower beyond the weapon's threshold. Is that all, stranger? <laughs> Boom. Thank and you. that is a huge increase. From 1.2 damage per shot to 1.8. That is 150% damage. Come back at a time. TMP, best weapon in the game. That and the ridiculously overpowered sniper rifles. Luis's Memo 5. On the initial stages of the research, we have been searching for a safe and practical removal procedure of the Plaga. Ironically, it turns out that the real objective of this research was not to find a way to remove the Plagas from the infected persons, but to find a way so that the Plaga could not be removed from the body so easily. In the end, we were able to find out that the Plagas could be removed only by exposing them to a special radiation. The only drawback with this method is that it is a very painful procedure. Since the Plaga attaches itself to the nerves, there is a possibility it may impair the consciousness of the host. Another fact that must be mentioned is that once the Plaga grows into an adult, the removal procedure could kill the host. But perhaps death isn't so bad when you think about the alternative. Oh god. No. Get away. Said get away. These guys always come in pairs and they're such a pain in the ass to fight in pairs. What? Walks downstairs alone and in pairs and makes a he sound. I was really hoping he'd do it for me. Sometimes my throat will make a really strange noise as I sort of force a small amount of air through it because I'm focusing real hard. 
and I won't realize it's me. So I'll try and figure out what in the game made that noise. Wait, this just lead back to where we came from? Yeah, it does. No? Wait. Where the f- What is this? Oh, okay. Just in case we missed anything back here, we can just walk back to the place where we just were. Just, just in case we needed to get away from Saddler. Or just in case we didn't think we needed to get away from Saddler. Huh. There's ammo there. So there's actually a reason to come back here. That's wild. Magnum ammo, too. I don't think I ever knew this was here. Or if I did, I forgot. I dig it. This looks like there used to be a door here. It's gone now. This doesn't look like a door. This just looks like a dead end. This hunk of junk? I, I don't know about this, Leon. There's only one way to find out. You operate. All right, this might have an uncomfortable moment. I don't remember for sure. Are you sure you want to do this? Yeah. It's right. radiation therapy. Yeah, Ashley's totally a trained fucking technician. They call me Cuban Pete because I'm the king of the Mambo Beat. How are you feeling? Like a million bucks. And her tits bounce as she walks over. All right. Guess I'm up. Just very conspicuously. <laughs> you okay? I'm a boss monster now, Leon. Fight me! Ah, this is my attack. I don't know about you, but I think it's time we go home. End of chapter. Next, the final chapter. I guess we're playing through. I guess this is what we're doing tonight. We're finishing this shit. Phew. Thank God it's out. There's no need to use this anymore. Wait, why is it automatic from this side, but I had to push a button from the other side? I have no idea how this thing works. The important thing is that we're all... What? Leon! No! Y'all are both gonna die in 10 years from now. Our mission. The real power of the United States lies in three areas. The Justice Department, the administrative bodies, and the military. Oh no. Oh no, someone looked... Someone looked up the Wikipedia article on the U.S. government. 
In order to take control of this area, these areas, we must influence the minds of the people who advise the president. After this is done, the rest of the departments will quickly fall under our sway. If by chance the United States were to figure out our plan, the damage caused should be minimal. We will still be able to conquer the country as planned using our backup plan. Once we control the country, we will use their international influence to our advantage. The rest of the world will fall swiftly. As I, you can tell, this is old. As already stated, if our first plan doesn't go as smoothly as expected, we'll proceed with our secondary plan. By sending in our special forces, we will infiltrate the country from within. Fear and chaos will spread through the nation like a virus. Like, perhaps, a T-virus. Ho, ho, ho. It'll only be a matter of time before the country loses its stability. At that time, when they're most vulnerable, we will strike. Rejoice, my brethren. The world shall soon be cleansed. Alright, let's give Ashley more HP. There we go. Welcome. Got some good things on sale for me? Things on sales. What are you selling? I got nothing I can afford to sell. I could have swore there was another lamp. What are you buying? But I haven't missed any treasure. Come back at any time. Final chapter. Doesn't even say typewriter this time. Something's not right. Ash, you noticed. Stay here. How? Ada! We're doing this. We're making it happen. Better try a new trick, cause that one's getting old. You okay? I don't believe Ada wouldn't land on her feet from that. <laughs> What's Probably so with a little backflip oh, afterwards. You know, the American prevailing is a cliche that only happens in your Hollywood movies. Oh, Mr. You get it? Cause they're trying to make this like a Hollywood movie. You show my appreciation. I will help you awaken from your world of cliches. So there's where it actually looks like Resident Evil for the first time. We're at the final boss and, well... It finally looks like Resident Evil. <laughs> it's just the, this is still the most ridiculous looking tyrant, though. God, the lights are getting in my eyes. Honestly, he makes a pretty good beat when he walks. Ow. Yeah. 
Doesn't make me QTE that. For some fucking reason. charge. Ah, fuck. Uh, no QTE for that one. Just, you're screwed. had to do a QTE for when we're doing a stab. Not this one, though. They just decided to change it up literally at the last second. Okay. Okay. I see how this is. jump over. Okay. Alright, this way. This should do it. And swing. And stab. Do that to me again for like the 80th time. Elevator still locked. Yeah, I gotta wait for that. I don't think I can swing these again. Stab him in the eye mouth again. Turns me to face him again, because why not? I guess we're gonna find out if I can pull this again. Nope. Oh, whoops. Was that enough? Did that knock him down? It sure did. Wow, he drops easy, huh? Made the like how I made the the bar curve towards me. I thought that was pretty good. There was no need for me to dodge it. I just decided it would look cool. Oh my god! Fuck! 
How many fucking hits is this gonna take? Classic. Okay. She picked a great time to do it. Where did she throw it? It's got to be here somewhere. There it is. And you still have to make the space for it in your damn inventory. Now pause everything and go game over. Like that. Oh, he's melting. Come on. It's the first time we fought. You can't melt already. Sorry, Leon. Oh no, who'd have seen it coming? Ada, you do know what this is. Hmm. I like that he dropped loot and it shows in the cutscene. No, Leon, wait, pick up the loot. Don't worry. Ada, you're I'll fucked. Take good care of it. Ada! Gotta go. Thank if you, Bad Road. I get off this island too. She really pushed it. She yeah, really pushed catch. it. Better get a move on. See you around. Come on, Leon. The timer's going during the cutscene. We don't got all day. Oh, there's Very a teddy cute. bear on it. What do you think it's a key to, y'all? It's a jet ski key, which Leon just knows, by the way. Also, it has a zipper on the back? I don't know what that's about. Deactivated, releasing locks on the elevator. All right, Leon, get that loot before it disappears. Oh man, 100,000 pesetas. That'll help so much in the rest of the game. Oh, hi, Ashley. Leon. We have to get off this island now. It's gonna blow any minute. It's gonna what? Ooh, I like the way they deformed the ground there to make a tunnel. Oh, that's to hide the key, but the key is attached to a chain. Oh, right. Whoops. Don't forget to catch Ashley and throw out your back. Hadn't had to do that in so long. Uh, any treasure here? No? Alright. I guess this is it. You use the jet ski key. Hang on, sweetheart. You know, that line only works because of the costume we're currently in. And yes, they do actually make you do this turbo tunnel bullshit.
absolutely crashed into that. Okay. I think I was supposed to slow down for that last bit. Oh yeah, the cutscene's great. They give you so much time that if the cutscene oh, wasn't there, by the way, it's unskippable. All the cutscene during this bit. Okay, so we go right. Then we go left, and then we go right. There we go. All right, that cut, that bit of cutscene is skippable at least. I actually didn't know. Left, right, left, right. Also, if you let go of W, it just kills you. You're allowed, like, one one to three seconds of not holding W during this part. Hang on, sweetheart. Also, this jet ski is incredibly buoyant. Look how it's keeping up that full plate. Also, skipping the cutscene still runs down the timer the same amount. It's pretty great. Left. Right. Right. Left. Left. Right. Right again. There we go. Now is Resident Evil 4. No, I'm serious. Ashley! I'm serious, this is the end. Where are ya? <laughs> They're just gonna ride off into the sunset. Leon! Uh, come on. Let's go home. She dies because the armor is too heavy. Mission accomplished. Right, Leon? Not quite. I still have to get you home safe. So, uh, after you take me back to my place, how about we do some, um, overtime? <laughs> Sorry. Somehow I knew you'd say that, but it doesn't hurt to ask, you know? So, who was that woman, anyway? Why do you ask? Come on, tell me. She's like a part of me I can't let go. Let's leave it at that. Unlike Krauser, we never talk about him again. I thought for just a second it had crashed right there, and that would have been so fitting. <laughs> oh my god. So as I said... This game, people had s such strong opinions on this game when it first came out. And for many, many years, I believe a lot still do, though maybe less, maybe a little less now. But you were not allowed to dislike this game. People would, like, physically fight you over it. Between the fight and now, I forgot Krauser existed. <laughs> And this, this game's success, actually, while this game itself is bad in a fun way, most of the time, this game's success actually and actively ruined Resident Evil for years. Resident Evil 5, 6, and the DS games that I tried playing and got sick of real fast, I forget what they were called. Resident Evil Resilience or something. Uh, 
until Resident Evil 7, there was not another good Resident Evil game. It does not always pay off to, com to suddenly completely change your game to try and appeal to a new market. Uh, this game sold a lot. Resident Evil 5 sold off the back of it until word got out that, pe that it wasn't good. And then the other games after that just did not sell. So they learned their lesson. So it does not always pay to throw out your old audience in favor of a new one. What's wild about this credit sequence here is it feels like it's for a completely different game. Jim Ward played Jack Browser. His name was Jack? Richard Wog played Wesker there. For his, like, six lines. It worked for... It's worked for a couple games. Um, It's worked for the three games I can think of where it's actually worked in the favor of the company is Castlevania, where Symphony of the Night uh, was the big changeover to a completely different game. And that series actually stayed pretty high quality after that, even if it was totally different. Uh, Fire Emblem, which completely changed genres and found an audience in the West and a new audience in Japan. And Monster Hunter, which... Ouch, Monster Hunter. And Monster Hunter didn't change as drastically, but it changed in just enough ways to appeal specifically to shitheads. Like... Hunnigan, is that you? Finally, the line's Jack Free. Hey, Hunnigan, no glasses. Forget the glasses. What's the status of the mission? I've rescued the subject. Forgot there was an after credit scene. You did it, Leon. Thanks. You know, you're kind of cute without those glasses. Give me your number when I get back. May I remind you that you're still on duty? Seriously, Leon, you're a creep. Story of my life. And there we go. Complete. Game is protected under Raccoon City police law, meaning their copyright is fictional. I didn't notice that. That's real funny. Monster Hunter changed just enough stuff to find an audience in the West, but the advertising was the main the main thing that did it, I think. In that they advertise it almost exclusively to shithead gamers. Oh, we died 110 times, did we? That's fine, because our enemies died like nine times that much. So that was my speed run. I'm not going to upload my data to the leaderboards. Now I can buy the infinite launcher and a Matilda from the merchant. Achievement unlocked, a heart of steel. That makes this, um, this game's achievements complete. Begin a new game with this clear file and you'll receive the PRL412 absolutely free. And the game crashed. Yes! Yes! It was truly a perfect ending. <laughs> oh, God. I've been asking myself this for 15 years or more. What the fuck is this game?
So, as I was saying earlier, you were not allowed to dislike this game whatsoever. People would get very, very angry at the idea. I'm not going to be able to, to end the stream, because when this game crashes or you exit it, uh, it basically disables your mouse clicks. Good shit. Good shit. But people would get very, very angry at you for disliking it. It... Uh, there's a few other games I can think of that got that reaction. The most obvious being Dark Souls, which uh, that's too, that's probably the most recent one I can think of, actually. That was uh, 2011? or Yeah, because Demon Souls was 2008. You were allowed to dislike Demon Souls. But Dark Souls came out. People didn't like it. 4chan got a hold of it. Now you weren't allowed to not like it. And that's when the true gamer capital G mentality went out of control, which I know has ruined Dark Souls for a lot of people, which is a damn shame. Uh, before that, I'm trying to think. There's a Ocarina of Time, which I think a lot of that is, uh, it was a lot of people's first Zelda game. Which can be something really special. And people get very protective of things that were precious to them when they were very young. And Symphony of the Night's another one which is kind of in the same boat as here, except Symphony of the Night is a better game. So yeah, I don't know what I'm doing next week. Let me look at my game list here. Uh, since I can't ever end the stream, I'm just stuck online forever. See, we've got some interesting stuff up here. We learned that I really dislike playing The Binding of Isaac, even if I love watching it. I can't open the Epic Launcher to see what's available there. That's gone. Um, I can't afford, obviously, with everything going on... I cannot afford uh, to buy new games right now. Please, please share this wherever you can, not just online, but at your place of work. We have big bills. I heard thunder just now. It's supposed to be nothing but sun for the next three days, according to the weather forecast, but it is thundering. But please share our fundraiser wherever you can. Um, please give generously if you're able. Thank you so much to everyone who has. It's a scary time. It's going to continue to be a scary time. At least until we are declared like fully in remission, which is, I think it takes like a year before they're allowed to say that. Because we're in observation right now. All right, let's see if I can figure out how to end the stream. Um, if I click, huh? What if I look at the task manager? Is there anything I can close in the task manager? Is there anything here that could be doing it? I'm going to try, like, force closing Steam and see if that does it. Um, if I can find Steam on here. I click the reset button on the computer when this happens. <laughs> I mean, that's probably a better idea. But I'm trying to end the stream correctly. All right, kill Steam. No, no, still broken. All right, I guess I'm just gonna control alt delete out of here. See y'all later. Thanks for coming. Oh my, okay, I thought for just a second that the mouse wasn't working in the sign out screen either. Bye.
All right, all right. I managed to get back on before before the 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 the, the terrified, angry, screaming man uh, went away and I said the stream was over. So now I can end the stream correctly. Uh, we got our schedule at schedule.truck.community. All right, we got that. It's a good it's a good schedule with lots of good stuff on it. I'm gonna hit bang schedule here. There we go. I don't even know if any of y'all are still here. Thank you if you are. Uh, tomorrow is gonna be Bad Road with Blood Omen 2 on his channel at 7 Central. Then after that, it's gonna be back to Sue over here playing Breath of the Wild. Uh, Thursday. Andy's going to be playing Ender Lilies starting at 6 p.m. on his channel, Andy Monium. And then back over here at 8.30, uh, Alice is going to be playing either Adventure of Mana or Legend of Mana. She's not sure which yet. Friday is going to be Katie playing Silent Hill 4. Saturday, someone's going to be playing Earthbound over on the channel Xenon Fiber. Sunday is our wild card day. And Monday is going to be Christy and Alice playing Mother Gunship. And that's the schedule. Also got our YouTube channel. At youtube.truck.community. There's lots of... There's lots of VODs to binge over there. And I highly recommend doing so. Um, and thank you all for your support. We've met, we have met our bit goal this month. Um, yeah, that's it. Thanks everyone for coming. We'll see you later. Peace.